All right, we have a duck under to an arm triangle, even though the arm triangle is not pursued as a punishment hold. And what I think is cheeky here, uh, and I don't think I actually intended that pun, but we'll go with it, is that the guy gets a grip on his shorts and pulls down. That could have just as easily been a one-armed hip lock, meaning like just one arm draped around the hip. Um, but the guy actually used a fabric grip on his shorts. So for modern grapplers in several different sports where they do allow you to grab um, either like a belt, uh, you know, Obi in judo, we, I guess we would just call it belt in American uh, BJJ, right? Or fascia in um, Portuguese for, you know, when we talk about the belt, we would say the um, mawashi when we talk about the uh, like sumo. Um, any one of those where it's legal to actually grab that part of the garment, this gives you just a little bit of a different approach and it's a compelling grip. Like when you get that grip and you drag someone down from the fabric, they go down. Um, and what I also like about this is for self-defense utility, people wear pants very often. And if they're men, most of the time they'll wear a belt. Um, you know, not many men these days walk around in yoga pants, although I will say it is a non-zero number, particularly the further out west you go. Um, and, you know, and as funny as that is, I don't mean it as a joke. It is a reality. So, um, but I would even say, okay, let's, let's assume the guy's wearing tights or yoga pants or, or whatever, uh, or bike shorts, because that's another similar kind of situation. As you can see here, you're still totally able to drag the guy down. So I've done another video where I isolated this sort of duck under to arm triangle opportunity, um, and maybe even another one where there was a drag down component, but I, I never really dilated on this idea of grabbing the shorts. Um, but I'm doing it now because if you happen to be in a grappling sport where you are allowed to grab that part of the garment, 100% do it. 100% every single time do it. Um, whenever we have garments in grappling formats that the rules allow you to grab, that means both players are mutually giving one another a tool, like a potential tool. And the whole point of tools is that they amplify your ability to do work. So a garment becomes a tool. A lapel becomes a tool when you can both choke one another out with it or do other manipulations with it. Um, in a lot of no-gi formats, they don't let you grab garments. And Some of them say if the guy wears gi pants that you can grab gi pants, and that's fine. Um, like Eddie Bravo in a lot of his matches would say, okay, well, I know I'm voluntarily letting the guy have a, a piece of fabric he can grab, but I, my lockdown grip with my ankles is so much better when I have the gi pants that I just do it anyway. And that's fine. But for any sport that allows you to grab fabric, whether it's a mawashi, a belt, um, some shortsy kind of garment like this, a hundred percent do it. And this particular sequence is one that I already like a lot, that duck under the arm triangle. Half the time you can finish people from standing with an arm triangle. You see that in UFC every once in a blue moon. Um, but even when you don't, you can always get awesome drag downs. And even better if you have some bit of fabric that you can drag them down on. It's very hard to resist. Um, habitually, I do go for either one arm or two arm hip drag downs. Just because I like training no gi utility as well. But um, if you can, why the hell not?